Turn it off. Ooh. I don't want it. To, I don't want to do that. Boom, boom, boom. After the game award, seems like. Oh, oh no! I was always gonna get a new one. I but I was gonna get one at the end of the month. I wasn't gonna get it like, um, so soon. But it's because the monitor croaked and it's been super slow. So I'm just like, okay. Okay, wait, this is the first run, right? Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, this is the first one. But I'm gonna be honest, I did want to stream the Game Awards for longer, but we had a skirm to do. <gasps> mm, refreshing. Okay. Yeah. I want to play it. Mm. Why is there blood? <gasps> oh my gosh, sure he did. Damn it. Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. I I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Boy, am I nervous. <laughs> right! I am. I am. I am. I am. Damn, 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 and she looked good, man. She looked good. Oh, hi, Chief. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you. And your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? Hold on, I can't read that, Jay. Hold on. I can't read that. Then, oh god. Are you streaming till 4 a.m.? Oh my. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, Jay. Get your rest. Thanks for the. Thanks for the, um. Thanks for the, the lurk. Get your rest. I'll probably be here when you get up. You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. People kept raiding and create a hype train all for crap. Oh, God. So you have to keep playing. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. That is too, too funny. But if you see my stream notification um, on Twitter, just retweet that because I gotta be retweeting my own shit <laughs> for, for people to see it. Oh, trust me. I think you deserve the rating and all the hype train because your streams are entertaining. Last night, though, I crashed. After my game, I was up for maybe like two, three hours more, maybe. 
and I just crashed. And when I woke up, my phone was dead. Thanks, Jay. But yeah, have a good lurk. Have a good, good rest. Mm mm mm. Mango juice tastes too good. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's, um, that's him. <laughs> the spear! Oh! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. Okay, like, oh God, what could have brought you to that conclusion? He screamed, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna die. And you, and, and you felt the need to still say that? That's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Nick! Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. That little bit guilty. Give me that sentence. I had a brain to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> I'm finished. Bro has no faith in his friend. He has no faith in him that he's gonna get him released from this. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't live it. Oh, the guy killed the girl that you like. Oh, I can't live in a world without her. Yeah. Who who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. This guy is Masha. Hmm, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death? That wasn't even the a girl he liked, that was his girlfriend? Okay, I get it. I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it. I understand. Because if that was my significant other and they dead them off, I'd be mad too. I'd actually be just like this. <laughs> Never mind. And they blamed it on me? Oh, I'd be pissed. Excuse me? I'd be crying. Screaming. I actually, I would have already been out the window. These guys are lucky that he caught him first. The newspapers say it was you. Let's see about the court documents. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Bruh, the fact that he went, they said it was you. That's your best buddy. Look at the way he crying. Look at the way he sweating. You know him well enough. You know he didn't, he didn't off his girlfriend. Be for real now. You being silly. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Oh, and you participated in that? Because you remember it well. Are you, are you guys even friends? <laughs> In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself into trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone, he's a good guy at heart. And that I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do. On God. On God. August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. But trust and believe, oh, we getting our boy. We getting our boy. No pro, we getting him probation. We getting him probation. Right? Probation. Um, For about two years. Community service. And bro's finished. Bro's good.
Wait, do we even need to get him community service, though? We should just make sure he's free. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. What are you going on for? You're in a court of law. <laughs> Mr. Wright? This is your first trial, <laughs> is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Th thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances? Let me read him like a Toronto man. I think we should have um, a cool test, you know, to determine like, you know, like if you're done to bad or not. Like we need to, we need to figure it out. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm shaking. I say, fading. The test will consist of simple questions, ma'am. Answer them, true and true. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Bet. The defendant, Larry Butts. Easy. The defendant, well, that's Larry Butts, your honor. Why are you saying it like that? Like, you're saying it like you're not sure. I know what I'm doing. You have to trust me. Correct. Just keep your wits about you. And you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Cindy. Trust and believe. You see, you guys see I'm already smart? Oh, wait. Cindy Stone. You even see how I'm looking up stuff before? Like, I'm actually even good. I'm actually even good at this game. Ooh, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover over to cover to cover so many times. It's wait. Uh oh. No, no way I forgot. I'm trying a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the the victim. Of course I know the victim's name. I am um, just forgot temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. You see, I read that already. I'm even smart. Like, who needs to even tell me anything? I'm even smart, fam. I'm knowledgeable. Just press tab to check at any time. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Cindy Stone. Cindy Stone. Um. The victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct? Yeah, because I'm good at this. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? Blunt force trauma? I'm even good. I didn't even have to read that for him. She died because she was hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Eight. Good for you, fam. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, fam. First, a question for all the youths, fam. Mr. P? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Eight just told us, the victim was struck with a blocked object. Would you explain to the court what that object is, fam? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see, fam. The court accepts it into evidence. Okay. 
no it's rather why would you even pick that up to hit somebody like i feel like there's so many options to like you could even go in her house or something and find something to kill her off with but you pick up a statue okay like you're going to prison i'm putting you underneath the jail right be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial that evidence is the only ammunition you have in court use the tab to check the court record frequently Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call us for you, fam. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, uh, to the stand. Um, Chief? What do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. I should have coached him. 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 Oh my god. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Look how confident he looks. Put your crooked eyebrow down. <clears throat> Mr. Butts. Is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Oh, it's not even your girlfriend anymore? I can't help you, bud. Because, like, they got... That's all the evidence they need, bro. I'm sorry. That's all the evidence they need, broski. Like, I'm sorry you're done, bro. <laughs> hey! Watch it, buddy. Oh, I should have snoozed the ad. Oh, my bad. I can't snooze it now. I cannot snooze the ad now. I am so sorry. I did not see that the ad was was up. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Ah, uh, didn't they all die? Wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. What the to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean when we say dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you. It was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What? Oh, bro is delusional. Oh. That's even sad. Bro is delusional, man. He's delusional. He's lost his mind. What do you mean? Like she's left you. She's not. She's not worrying about other. She's not worrying about you anymore. She's worried about other man. Like oh, blood's a lot stiffer. R.I.P. to the Bruski. Got done by one girl, and he can't. I really the way he was crying there. He was. <laughs> mm. What do you mean you one of them? It's all of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Oh. Okay. So here's the thing. Oh man, in this court of law, it do seem like it do seem like we gonna have to be smart and stuff. But that's okay. I took Canadian law, so this is going to be easy. Hmm, indeed. She seems to have come back the day before she got murked. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but didn't have a large income. It appears she had several uh, sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Wait, she was doing all of that while you were dating? Oh, and she didn't tell you? Mm -mm. 
I should just didn't tell you. Mm -mm. <laughs> Come on. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. <laughs> tell me, Mr. Butts. What do you think of her now? Don't answer truthfully, bro. He's baiting you. Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... No! Stop him from answering. That is not relevant to the case. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. Ugh. Dude! Nick! What do you mean irrelevant? That cheat- No! You just made my job so much harder. You're dumb. You are dumb. You are dumb. How were we friends for so long? You're, du you're, dumb. you're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're an idiot. You're dumb. How were we friends for so long? You're a colossal dumbass. How were we friends for so long? You're stupid. Oh my god. Oh my fuck. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah. And when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh my fucking god, bro. You fucking dickhead. Fucking dickhead. Oh my god. I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy! Oh boy! This is not looking good. Next question. <laughs> you went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Mm. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and uh, maybe I didn't. Uh oh. He went. What do I do? <sighs> Here's the thing. I guess if I stop him from answering, it just looks bad and it is relevant to the case whether he was there or not. But if I have him answer honestly, like he's just gonna fucking jibber jabber his way into the fucking under the jail okay oh man why is he stupid why is he dumb why is he stupid Okay, you know what? I have him answer, honestly. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. This guy, Jojo posing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was there. I went. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. We messed up. We messed up, you guys. We messed up. We messed up. We messed up. We messed up, you guys. <laughs> messed up. Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. The defendant is lying. Oh, uh, Fibbin fam? Not telling true? Dead lying fam? Are you being for real? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that makes things like much more fam. Who's who's your you fam? The man who fa- Oh, this is the guy that killed her. This is the guy that killed her. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. 
Why is he even sweating? Like, bro, you know you weren't there. Why are you even sweating? Nice, it fam. Nice in the courtroom. Mr. Pin? The prosecution? I May mean, bring that you talk from. Bring them all from. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. This is the fucking fucker that fucking killed her. This is the motherfucker that fucking killed her. Mr. Sawit, you, uh, sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Oh! Oh, yes. Newspapers, yeah. Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell everybody what you've seen on the day of the murder. Wait, oh my. This guy is the one that killed her. All we have to do is make his story, like, look super unbelievable. But, like, it's gonna be hard because my fucking friend is, like, fucking stupid. So. I was going door to door and selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment and then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I quiled in front and find myself unable to go outside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. This guy is too happy to be in the courtroom. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working from? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yeah, uh, yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those, Your Honor. I have a record of the blackout for your per usual. Mm. Man. Oh, I told y'all. I told y'all. But we beating the, be the case, bro. You about to get about 50 years, but we beating the case, bro. No, Mr. Ray. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Mm. <sighs> Let us begin. A cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, Ray. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why? You expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness testimonies to the evidence at hand. There is bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find the contradictions between the court record and the witness testimony. Then, once you've found the contradiction evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Open the court record with tab and then point out the contradictions in the testimony. 
Y'all, we beating the case, fam. We beating the case, fam. Mm. We beating the case. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. Yeah, you were going door to door. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Did he get strange? I looked inside the apartment and I saw her lying there, a woman not moving. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm actually stupid because I don't know what to do. Huh? No, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Uh uh. What? Frankly, that hard to believe your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report the autopsy notes the time of death sometime after 4 p.m there was nobody to nobody to find at 1 p.m how do you explain this three hour gap <coughs> oh that um this is trivial the witness merely forgot the time Mm-mm, fam. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe that we're gonna be so honest with you. Mr. Sawit? Why were you dead lying on the stand, fam? I, uh, well, I... Gee, that's a, a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See one through, and their whole story falls apart. You guys see, I'm actually smart. Like, my brain is large. Oh, wait, I remember now. <laughs> Would you care to tell us? Now he has to change. Now he's changing his story again. Now he's changing his story again. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. That doesn't make sense either. Hmm, I see. You heard of wasting the time on a tape program? <laughs> Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Yeah, I do. I got this easy. Oh, man. How would you... How are you hearing that? There was a blackout. There was a blackout in the whole building. You're not hearing anything. From new... The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Uh, I, well... Uh, the defense is speaking truth, man. Do you have an explanation for this thing? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Ah! Wait, I remember now. Mr. Sawit? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the start. These correct consecrations are harming your credibility. And that you seem rather... distraught. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. It, it, it must it must have been the shock of finding the body 
Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Like, we got bro sweating. We got very sweating. We got very sweating. But we about to eat this up, man. Hmm? Hmm? Didn't the judge say he wants your accurate testimony and now you're straight lying again? There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah. The murder weapon. The killer used it the vic- No. <laughs> no. No. I guess I would explain it. Yeah. <laughs> Gladly. Yeah, you're getting cooked. You're getting cooked. You're getting cooked. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now, how's this supposed to be a clock? Dumbass. Well, you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Solid. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Peen? The witness stated this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submit it as a statue. My apologies. I see. The murder weapon was a table clock after all. And Mr. Wright? Yes! If you have to tilt it to see the time, then he wasn't seeing the time. There is a gaping hole. The only way? Yes! Yes! We're on the same page. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm. You're right. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the date of the murder. Uh, oh yeah, prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one that killed her. You struck her with the clock. The shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Oh, he's right. He's telling the truth, fam. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit? The sound must have left quite an expression on you. Impression. An expression. Understandable, since the murder weapon just spoke as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? You, did you strike the victim with the clock? I... I... That day, I... I never... Look, I... The clock, I heard... No, I, I saw... Gah! Whoa. 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 Did you just... Did you just throw your fucking toupee at my face? You threw your toupee, your hair toupee, at my face. You 
you're nasty. You're actually disgusting. You're actually disgusting. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! It was him, I tell you. I saw him! He killed her, and he should burn! Burn! Give him death! Bro, this guy's losing his mind. Order? Order in the court, I say? Your Honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright? Your Honor. Do you claim the sound came from the witness or in the clock? Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I better think through it carefully. Your Honor. The sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Uh, good thing I saved, you know? Good thing I saved. If I... Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Eight? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Ugh. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. Oh, we're smooth with it. We're smooth with it. Ooh. We eat any toes up. We eat any toes up. Nom, 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 nom. Munching, munching, munching. We're eating them up. You forgot one thing. Uh oh. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow the day of the murder? You can't prove that. You don't have a case. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't present anything right now. Man! <gasps> Maybe I'm not cut out to be a lawyer. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You lawyers are all slime. Mm. I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. What? Did we lose? Not so fast, Mr. Solid. Mia, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think, but chief, it's it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um. Well, yes, but that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think it through. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? Can you think of a reason why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have the evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it, and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you see the clock was already running slow on the day of murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. 
There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. <laughs> Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see the evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Ah. Uh... Oh. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Because I'm... I said all of that, but I'm not too sure. Let's think about this. At this moment in time, I think I'm welcome to a hint, but not the answer. But, let me see. Okay, so obviously it's not the badge. It's not the time of death because that just that just proves what time she died right i could i could use the statue as defense i think it might be the statue she apparently arrived from paris and when did she maybe she brought the clock with her there so she was like but that doesn't make sense because then they would be three hours ahead or something Um, oh, that does make sense. Electricity was out from noon. But the blackout record is not going to affect clocks. So that, like, doesn't make sense. Um, um, maybe I'll present the passport? And if that doesn't make sense, then we're just going to load our save. <laughs> the victim had just returned from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. Oh! My brain! My brain! My brain! My brain! My brain! My brain is big! My brain is big! My brain is big! My brain is big! Oh, my brain is huge! I have the most biggest brain in the whole world! The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home! That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in our apartment was wrong! Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or should I say, may okay, now nah, this, this shit's fucking corny. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you did fall over, Lord Jesus. No, man, you did fall over. Somebody get him a towel and a blanket. Lord Jesus, no, man. You nearly dead. Order. Order, I see. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than what we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, yeah. he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to see. I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. You guys, don't ever doubt me. Don't ever doubt me. I'm super good at games and I'm really good at this one. At this point, this is only a formality, but um, this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty oh let's go let's go let's go my friend is not guilty my friend is not guilty and with that court is adjourned oh my gosh you guys we're so good at this way it turns out that frank saw it was a common burglar they didn't check this before Composer's a newspaper salesman to check and see when people in the house were out. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. 
While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawick grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Bruh. You didn't have to kill her. You literally could have. If you had just left, you would have been fine, bro. This guy's an idiot. This guy's a colossal dumbass. Ooh. I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> Life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait. No, I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a. No, no, never mind. Larry! Larry! She was cheating on you the entire time. Larry, all she did was cheat on you. All she did was cheat on you. Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> Thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate! Dinner? Movie? My treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Okay! Here, take this. It's a present. A present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that actually I made this clock for her? I made one for her and one for me. Really? You, you made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick, can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And uh, she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you just want to cry? <laughs> Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Did you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? This is the clock you made for her, Larry, and she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it up what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. <laughs> Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Damn. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part at least. You have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Is our sub is our boss flirting with us? 
I think our boss is flirting with us. And so my first trial came to a close. We're good at this game. Larry slapped me on the back and said, gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us, unless you count the clock he gave me up. I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. The chief is going to get murked? The chief is going to get murked? The chief is gonna get murked. Oh my deez. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick BRB. I need to get up and pee. I haven't gotten up to pee this whole time. I've not gotten up to pee. I'm gonna do that. <sighs> I'm gonna do that and grab a quick snack. And then we're on to episode two. I think we could get um maybe two more episodes in because it seems like there's like three or four per chapter or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys in like 10 minutes, five to 10. Yeah.
wasn't man enough for me. Okay. Period. Okay, let's get back to it. Yeah, we saved. We're good. Hello? This is Maya. The bed has restored your strength. Amen. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. No, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. I did win my case. I actually won it with no fumbles. <laughs> I won it with no fumbles. I won it with no fumbles. I won that case with no fumbles. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't fumble not once. I brought up. I brought up the clock like you're supposed to. I brought up that, and then I was sat there thinking, and I thought, I thought, I thought, and then I brought up the passport. <laughs> I brought up the passport. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yup. Yup. I'm a professional. That's so good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. Gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. <laughs> I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. That's what I'm saying! Wait, what did EA do? Now. I mean, other than, like, Madden is, like, wherever Madden it is right now. And the Sims 4 Rent has a, a bug embedded in it already. So. Um, um, um. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just ruining stuff. for the thanks for the 50 bits and on god i'm gonna get sued on god i'm gonna get sued thank you for the 50 bits jay hope your errands go smooth huh it's not working that's lame i had to take the clockwork out sorry i put some papers inside instead papers is that the evidence then hmm well, there's a possibility it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9 p.m. to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. 
Okay, sis. But I expect dinner! Something good. Like... burgers. I could really go for a good burger. But yeah, I don't know if you heard because of that, but... Thank you, Jay, for the 50 bits. I hope you have a good rest of your morning. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright! It's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Clearly, because we're getting all this info, one of them dies. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm! We're supposed to meet up at 9. Now, Miss Fang, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, <laughs> you're not coniferous of my background? Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Oh. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Oh. oh my god! Maya got whacked? Red, white, blue. She couldn't skedaddle a little bit? Oh my, oh my days, fam. She couldn't skedaddle even a little bit? Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should go go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Maya! Maybe she's in her office. Oh, sorry. I'm holding a bowl in my hand. Let me eat. Um, 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 um. Okay. I smell blood, and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia, the chief's okay. Okay, so... Where do you want me to look? Okay. Oh. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? Huh? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What? 
what am I supposed to do? Examine, but like... Okay, I'm just gonna go over the whole screen. supposed to do and I don't want to look it up either I don't know what I'm supposed to do like if I'm supposed to be looking at something through the glass of like the magnifying glass if you're saying you have to check then Bro. Hello? What am I supposed to look for? Oh my gosh. I did not know that's what was meant. That smell! Blood! <gasps> Sis, someone's there! Oh my gosh. Bro, I bet she ordered a hit on her sister. But actually, no, I don't bet that because they were kind of close on the phone. But I don't know if I... Something's, something's not right. Chief? Why didn't you call the police? You found your sister. Why didn't you call the police? Uh, call the police. Who are you? The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder, and then all too quickly it began to fade, until she was finally cold. None of y'all called the police! If you had just called the ambulance! Do see something! Take pictures! And then, I don't know, but like, you guys are stupid, you guys are dumb. Examine, yes, let's examine. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon again. Chief, it's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. What? Damn it. Lying next to her must have been the water murder weapon. I think are added to the court record. Hmm, there's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of glass, of the glass light sand lying broken in the back of the room. Shards. Nothing else that seems to be a clue here. Hmm? Piece of paper must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Oh! Oh. Maya, did Mia write this? In the apartment store dated yesterday. Written in blood. I think that's enough sneaking around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. I mean, you can infer from what she was saying. Right, I better call the police. Yes. That's funny. A few screws in the receiver are missing. It looks like somebody was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick. What, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window?
Oh my. Okay. Chief's important documents are back here. This is where she filed her court. Okay. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC for was for email. She picked this up. She picked up this ancient model at some garage show for practically nothing. The Fay and Cole ledger book. Everything is written in the chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Why is that something that we need to know? Okay. A perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on the stuff clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Okay, so why is that stuff that we're noting? Why are we noting that? Ah. Hmm. Okay. It's painful to look, but I have to for Mia's sake. Looks like she was hit in the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. Some shards of glass. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm done examining here. Yeah, I think I'm done examining. Phone receiver is missing a few screws. I'd better not use it. Okay. Okay, then let's leave. That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. I'm like, why is she popping up like that? Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Mm. Reception desk, I usually sit here. You couldn't cram more legal books in here even if you wanted to. A few can gaze up upon the shelves with a few can gaze up upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. A small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. Okay. This sofa's for clients. It's leather. A real luxury model. Large painting, I guess you could call this modern art. I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. You sound you sound like you come from Reddit, the way you act in, bro. The door to the chief's office is slightly open. I better not touch the doorknob. Yeah. Okay. So, you're the chief's... Sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It was that clock. It was the thinker. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis. Sis. So she was already dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
actually there's no point in doing that. I mean Before Mia died, she wrote this message with her own blood. What? But she, if she died instantly, then that doesn't make it... How is she if she died almost instantly? I guess the almost part is what we focus on. That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why, why would Sis write my name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. Here come the police! Whoop, whoop. That's just another police! The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Oh god. Look at this big buffoon. Alright, I'm Detective Dick Cumshoe. What? <laughs> Wait, that's not what it says. That's not what it says. That is not what it says. That is not what it says. Alright, I'm Detective Dick Cumshoe. Dick Gumshoe. See? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received the report from the building across the way. See? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! This word Maya here mean anything to you? That... That's my name. What? The victim drew this note here in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer, I'm not case closed. You're coming with me down to the precinct? Oh, now we have to defend her sister, cause she didn't do it. What? Uh-huh, yeah, that's it. You done so for you. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center, visitor's room. Mm-mm-mm. Nom, 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 nom. Wow, you have poor Maya locked up like some criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. So, so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what, what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office. You looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? Don't look at me like that. No, don't look at me like that. No, no, I never thought. It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh? Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. 
When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Okay, let's examine. Okay. Discard monitors to finish this room. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. <laughs> oh. Smile for the camera. Yeah, okay. All the evidence I have right now. Um... Back. I don't want to move right now. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like, people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. It does, it does, yeah, it does. Could you tell me about the date of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker when Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Yeah. So, you say you have a conversation on the cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, that's right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. I've been doing the last few hours. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've gotten kind of used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold a piece of evidence. That's the thinker clock. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer now. So then, what did you do when you arrived to the office? Or when did you arrive to the office? It was right around 9. And she, she got she got caught around 8.57. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear from now. Okay. So you're an accolade. Uh, medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been sent very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I... I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So, you're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering... Could I ask you a favor? Hmm? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well... I'm in trouble. Do you think you could ask him to represent me? Hmm. Mm. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, she's a small medium at large. Absolutely, Blaze. Welcome in, Blaze and Glory. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. Accept. Let's do it. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Hmm? Say, what about your parents? Ooh, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. No, she, she either doesn't have- The trial's at 10 tomorrow? What, tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, what will happen? 
Yeah, I'll be back. Bruh. Goss for log offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. But how are you doing? How are you doing, Blaze? How are you doing? Just wanted to ask how you're doing. How's your day? How's your morning? Because it's still early in the morning. Not to mention, run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Mm, no, let's examine. Uh, expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. <laughs> that painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil painting, the oil paint is so thick I think it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here has got money to burn. Okay. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Why are we examining this guy? Why are we pocket watching him? Why are we pocket watching? Yeah, we are pocket watching deep. Mm. Okay. I think that's all, though. I don't think there's anything more to look at. Okay. Well, I am so sorry, girl. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I better go see if I can find this little lawyer she's talking about. Hmm, let me go to the law offices. Was this filled with police officers or obviously searching for clues? Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing! I'm sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, no. Phoenix Wright. Oh, gosh. That butts guy, he was a killer! And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective Gumshoe. Hey, Gumshoe? Right! At your service! Hang on! That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick! Get over here! Uh, yes, sir. Be right there. Um, I... You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Ooh, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Ooh, okay, let's examine. Okay. Quarterline strict, the pal. Who was that? <laughs> There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all those. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. If you could tell what movie it is, that thing has been washed out. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel, right? Right across the way. Yeah. I can't- that hotel is probably gonna be a piece of evidence we have to look at later. Uh, 
about Miss Faye? Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Autopsy report, it, it was instantaneous. So if it was instantaneous, right? Either she got hit by something, right? Before she died or cut herself on something before she died, right? And wrote that or she didn't write that. Which, the, the second option is definitely more likely. She didn't write that. Okay. Maya. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? The city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth, if you know what that means, you being a big lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal, Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh, I'm gonna say of course not, so that dude can tell me what I need to know. Cause no, I don't, no, 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 I don't. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal. About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone here says he's a genius. Surprise, you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who will do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Mm. Okay, so here's the thing. Actually, before I do anything like that, let me save. Okay. I wanted to save before I presented the evidence just in case something went wrong, but it's, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. If she died instantaneously, she's not gonna write something. Oh, yeah. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Well, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean... Wait a second, pal! Tricky lawyer! Uh-oh. He's on to me. Ooh. If I tell him... I like, I like the honesty is the best policy. I feel like honesty is the best policy. Why shouldn't I tell him the truth? Hold on, y'all. I gotta respond to this. Okay, um, let's tell him straight. 
If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, oh no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. The cell phone over those. Er? You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Nice! I got the cell phone. Check the court record. But I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. Y'all done, pal? Um, yeah, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already then. <laughs> You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better to try and get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. No! We are not paying a visit to Miss May. No, we are not. Um... Yeah, I think we're good now, though. No. I'm gonna go back to the lawyer office. Uh, bruh, still not in. I guess this is the guy that's representing the defense, I guess. So. Let me go back to the detention center. Talk. Family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So she could still be alive? The women in my family have all been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer. And she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by yourself up on that mountain. Okay, your mother's enemy. So who was this man that um ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everybody was talking about it apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Oh, the police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But... A man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Okay. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Oh, that's so sad. Man. Her sister, her sister is so dead, bro. But we're gonna be the best attorney known to man. Like, I'm good at this, so... You guys don't have to worry. Thank you. 
Okay. Um... Okay. I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Where's this? Hmm, better not ask her about this now. Oh, damn, I messed up. I guess we have to go to the hotel. Okay. Oh god. There's goofy music coming up for this character. Oh goodness gracious. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's also exciting! I can hardly contain myself! Oh! Let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. It's gonna be us. The flowers are fake. Yup. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floor. Those are roses! Come on now. Like, you know you're taking the piss. Like, look, that's... Come on now. Ah, a still scene painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those hanging on the wall. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fane Cole Law Office buildings, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. That is a good point. Noted, noted. Bottle of a bottle and two glasses on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Simple bed, it's been recently made, nothing eye catching there. There's a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Let's inside the table. What are you doing? No touching. Oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't be prying around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Um, could you... Just exactly who are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No! Hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've ever blushed this much. <laughs> right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. Okay. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. 
Oh, observe. Incident, you sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Uh, do you... You know that thing that occurred, uh, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please. Let me see. Um, well, dream on! If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying, staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm a just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't really want to present anything to her. Hmm, I wonder what's inside. Uh, uh, maybe later. Yeah. Uh... Oh my gosh. I can't ask you about shit. Okay, let me save again. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Hmm, seems like the ghost freak is out. Maybe I should just wait for him to come back. <clears> hmm, <throat> if that was the most over-the-top clearing of the thread I've heard. <gasps> so you're the one that you say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That badge on your collar. Oh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Well, yeah, yes. What do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? And how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir. Actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Mm hmm? Uh, yes. Maya Faye. Yeah, you go. Go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? A cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go on taking cases on a day's notice. It's quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Er, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What I told Maya. How do you know about Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? Um, well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see? But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. Um, Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, of course I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep, fine. I don't have any time to argue with you anyway. I'll look, go look elsewhere. Think not. Huh? What did you say? I think not, I said. Huh? What do you mean? 
I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer will worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? That's quite a painting. Aha! You noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of the straw of the hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Uh... I don't think I have anything I could present to him. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I'm just making sure and double-checking. Yeah, no, we're good. Yeah, good. fuck off, man. You're fucking annoying. Oof. 342. Hiya. Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well... Let me see, just be honest. I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help, er- I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. No. Let's defend Maya. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... You aren't the culprit. Someone else's. How do you know? I, um, I have a hunch. Given the evidence, it would be easy to assume Maya's the killer. I'm gonna be honest, based on my evidence, I uh, would have to say that doesn't seem true. Okay. It just seems, it doesn't seem true. There's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. That witness is strange behavior. Was that all an act? And the way the lawyer refused to help out Maya? But more than that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know. I've been there. A long, long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. <sighs> Maya. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You're innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what's next? There's something that's been bugging me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I want to see if I can talk to her about this right now. Oh, my. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to room deliver room service. You know where Miss May might be. Miss May is currently leaving at the facilities. Wait, no. Hey. That was my chance. I came back quick. Ask you to inform Miss May that there's a message for her. Oh. Mr. White. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going straight for that drawer. Ooh, a wiretap? Ooh.
I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Ooh, I don't know, man. Maybe you needed to go on a date with Maya. Maya was dead flirting with us, though. Maya was dead flirting with us hard. Maya wanted us bad. Oh, bellboy, still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. <laughs> we have to just get the fuck out of there real quick. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me an innocent. Mr. Edward, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya May, was at the scene of the crime. Prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. Prosecution sees no reason to doubt these facts of the case, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Edward. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor, prosecution calls the chief officer to the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your profession and your name to the court. Sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm in charge of the homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Well, very well, sir. Use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by the window here, and the cause of death, loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hands, your honor. What is that supposed to mean? Court accepts his evidence. They're still calling it a statue. <laughs> now, detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Maya Faye, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. As soon as the phone came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Faye. Why? why we had a witness account describing her the witness saw miss maya Fay at the very moment of the murder hmm the very moment you say very well mr wright you may begin your cross-examination yes your honor cross-examine what can see a single contradiction that my sister couldn't find any contradiction when the testimony she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail the witness always slips up and says something wrong it works lots of times all right, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Mm-hmm. You go there already. Hold on just one second, yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you had arrested her because you had hard evidence and she did it, correct? Did I did I say that? Me? You I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly. What about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any solid proof other than her claims? Um, hmm. I guess suppression can have advantages. Yes. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor. There was something I should have told you first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. After securing the suspect, I examined the crime scene with my own eyes. I found a memo written 
a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya clearly written in blood with the victims. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Of course, she died. No, but that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work, y'all. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Why didn't you? Uh, uh I know. I'm real embarrassed about it. Yeah, please be more careful. Don't worry. I'm about to refute you right now. Okay. Okay. But that doesn't work. Yeah, that doesn't work. Detective Gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Faye, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Faye. Is that's really what you're saying? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? Somebody could have just grabbed her finger and wrote it. What? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who could who could absolutely not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt force object. She died immediately. But no butting your way out of this one, detective. Yeah? Sis died instantaneously. She wasn't writing shit. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Uh-uh! Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you... Oh. When? The day after the murder. It was the day after the murder. Prosecution's point being... That obs... Oh, really? What? The second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. The death was almost immediate there's a possibility that the victim lived for 70 several minutes no way your honor it's quite easy to imagine oh my oh my god bro this nigga is annoying bro my mr right you look shocked something you want to say Do I have to pick? Uh. Anyway, I'm gonna save this. Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks on prosecution. No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence in this report is undeniable. You're submitting this. The court accepts the evidence. Huh. Darn, this isn't good. See, she wanted to call it some sort of support. Innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Mm -mm -mm. Exactly what part of her is innocent? No, sis is guiltier than a fucking... She's guilty as fuck. April May at your service. God damn. Why is she stand... She's... Okay. I don't know if you guys n know that meme. Where the girl, like... It's like that Chinese girl that keeps, like, popping up every now and then. She's like... She has... Her ears are, like, super big. She has, like, a filter on. And she's talk She talks like this and... And she doesn't pronounce her she like doesn't pronounce her words properly oh god i don't know but oh god like it just reminds me of that it's so funny order an introduction should not require any reaction from the court the witness will refrain from wanton winking ah yes your honor this is not good she's already captured the man of every the heart of every man in the court tell us where were you on the night of september 5th when the murder occurred um, gee, I was, like, in my hotel room. I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fane Co. offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Mm-mm. I'm gonna win this, though. It was, like, 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know? 
And then, oh, I saw a woman being a, with long hair being attacked. When attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And then the woman dodged, like, dodged one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and hit her. But that doesn't make any sense. The woman with long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all. That doesn't make any sense. Yep. I'm cross-examining. Yeah, I'm cross-examining this bitch. No, no way. Okay. Let's see. Let's see about the evidence first. Saw one with long hair being attacked. you on that why did you do that huh why like why what why would you look out the window were you expecting to see something oh well um gee that's it she can't get out of the question that easy i sort of you know i had a feeling well i have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question maybe i should press a little harder go for this one yeah we're going for it let's see how far i can run with this surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night i oh Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? You insist on kneeling her on these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him. The poor girl. Oh, my. I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. I'm trying to think but we okay here's the thing i don't know why we wouldn't take the screwdriver into evidence because the screwdriver was clearly used to unscrew the telephone why wouldn't we take the screwdriver in evidence i'm confused she like dodged to one side and ran away Let me look at the floor plan again. Okay, let's say she's at the desk. And she ran away so she caught up to her? I don't know. Hmm. Hold on. What? Uh-uh. Okay, but she didn't die. She didn't die at 9 o'clock. Okay, wait. I want to save. And then I'm going to present that evidence. 
Okay. Let's hear about presenting it here. This evidence clearly, clearly reveals a contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly? They aren't, are they? Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna have to start pressing around certain things. Um yeah, I'm gonna have to start pressing her. <sighs> okay, wait, let me see if I can press her. I already pressed her on that. Mm -mm. How did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... Gee, first of all, she had a girl's physique. And second of all, she was small. What else could be but her? She has a point. Because um, you can't see properly from the window. It'd be kind of hard to see from the window. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. Mm. Do I want to say that she's lying? Or do I want to say that... Or that she saw nothing? I don't believe she saw nothing because we saw her from the window. Right? We saw her from the window. So I don't think she saw nothing, but I do think she's lying. Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Okay, if you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Yeah, she wears eccentric clothes! No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except for her. And I'm no expert on hard fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but, still, we don't know. She was, Your Honor. I saw her, and so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Rawr! What the fuck? So what are you trying to say, mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm being... I don't even want to read that. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. Yeah, but at least we're getting closer now. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. And the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. She hit her with a weapon. I saw it. I did in that clock. Um, that statue thingy. I think the... Does the accuracy of my report not startle you? No. I, I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cost examination. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's look at this. If she dodged the first attack and ran off... Mitch, are you fucking lying to me? Are you fucking lying to me, you bitch? Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh, really? Objection overruled. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Okay. Okay. A clock? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. I am going to save this right here and I'm gonna go back to it if if this ends up being bogus. No, I wanted to go to the statue. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Naughty Mr. Lawyer. Oh my god, keep it in your pants. You just said this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that by just looking at it. Another person in the much same position as you recently called it the clock too, and he was found guilty of murder. Order, order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, uh... The witness... No. No. Yes, yes, of course. You'll withdraw your question. No. But the questions are... But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. That was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would have been over. Huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because I heard it? Yes, I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law offices of Faye and Co. No. Hey, I didn't say I'd... I, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. It's not that close. Hmm. No. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... Okay, let's try and remember. Let's try and remember. It couldn't have rung. It couldn't have rung unless somebody was in there and they take the clock, right? But she was in the next building over. She couldn't have heard it. Uh, it couldn't have rung. She's in the next building over. How would she have heard that? She's in the next building. She's in a different building. How would she have heard that? You guys don't make any sense. Okay. Let's do that safe thing again. And let's think real hard about this. Okay. It, you have to activate it to ring. Somebody in the office could have activated it, right? Which, you know, she could have activated it when she held it, right? Um, but she couldn't have heard it. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard the clock go off next door. Yes, I do. No! No, I have- No, I have proof! I have proof! I have proof! I have proof! Okay, hold on. I'm like getting really warm. Hold on a second.
Okay, I'm back. Okay, let's 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 do this. Three lights are closed. What grounds? This is a trivial. No, Your Honor, I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because it couldn't have run. It's empty. That clock is missing the clockwork. How could you possibly just take a look right now? Oh, see anything interesting, Your Honor? It says the defense says this clock is missing its clockwork. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. I am a smart. I'm a smart being. I'm a smart person. I'm smart. It's quite empty. So how could you have heard it? There's nothing to hear, babe. There's nothing to hear. Mr. Wright! Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness... is a big fat liar. Fat? That's the problem she has. That's what she takes issue with, is the fat part. Well, Miss May... Whenever he does that stupid little fucking tisk tisk tisk, it makes me want to fucking pinch him in his fucking nose. This guy's an asshole. Oh, this guy's a fucking dickhead. I hate him. I hate him. <sighs> Quite the show you've put on for Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. It was after the... No, it wasn't. Impossible, of course. I have proof. Wasn't it you who told me proof isn't everything? Well, I was listening, and now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence proves that the clock was removed. Yeah. Take, Take a look at this. Yup. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Oh, you have a girly phone. Wait, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone and contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder! Order, order. The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Take a look at my fucking Nokia! You can't break this shit. It's hard evidence. That's what I'm talking about, Blaze. That's what I'm talking about. The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you so could. Ah, oh, well, I'll, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear that the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Uh, uh, uh. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock, bitch? How do you know? Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Uh... What store is it? I go to so many. Nope, I forgot. Had seen it before, that would make sense. Yes. Witness claims she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to the court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence. It's made by Larry. It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world, and the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Ooh! Oh, you flamed her with that one, buddy. You ate that. 
You got her there, bud. You got her there. <sighs> you got her there. Mm. Oh, excuse is not on sale today. Oh, 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 oh. How is she gonna recover? 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 Burn is right, Jay. How is she gonna recover? Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa, what the flip? What the fuck? Did she just fucking... <laughs> what did... Did we just watch a stand transformation? Did, you, we, did we just watch an anime cutscene? Are we watching Sailor Moon or Winx? Where in order to level up, they need to get naked? No. What are we watching? Y'all, what are we watching? I'm gonna snooze the ad even. I'm gonna snooze the ad for five minutes because I need you guys to see this. Because I've never, I've never played, I've never seen anybody play this game. I've never played this game before. Oh gosh. What's it to you, Porcupine Head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> she did it and she should die for it. Die. Shoddy tripping, bruh. Shoddy tripping. Wait a minute. I don't remember the jiggle base physics. Me neither. I've never heard of this game having jiggle base physics, but we'll see. If there's more. Whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Hurry! Hurry! Oh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did I, um, like, lose it? Yes, I did. <laughs> Scary. This shoddy is fucking insane. I played the game, it only gets weirder and funnier. So I've heard. So I've heard. I believe you. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you heard, you had heard about it. You didn't held it, you didn't kill her, but you had heard. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Bitch, I got you dead to rights. I got you dead to rights. I got you dead to rights. You're done. You're done. You're done. She heard it previously clock someone. All right. All right. All right. Get him out of your system, Blaze. Get him out of your system now. Get him out of your system. Oh, what would possess you to say something like that? <laughs> Take, that. Take that! Have a look at this. <laughs> oh, that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's hotel room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May? You were tapping the victim, Miss Mia May's phone, were you not? <laughs> Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was wiretapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the web, the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She did say that. She said it. She said it on the phone. Can we be fucking for real? No, 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 no. Can we be for real? She said it on the phone. Hit them with a level three X factor. I'm about to. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is, is fucking, let's check. Let's even check. 
It's a clock! She says it right there! I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we all seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while? Where's well, actually something I want again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made. Yup. Miss April May! Ooh. Take that, take that. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I I Objection. Your honor, this is ridiculous. Your honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? I don't think so. Yeah, he's trying to push it out of his ass, Blaze, but he's not getting it from me. The defense demands an answer. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May, shut all of you. It gives you the right to talk to me that way. You lawyer? Oh. The ad is about to start in about 60 seconds, by the way, y'all, so... I'm, I'm gonna hurry this up. It's no fair! Oh, you gang up on me like that? Oh, I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Oh. <laughs> what the? She cried? That did it. The court has seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal with the final blow. Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't Tippity Tappier irrelevant? She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Miss May, do you have an explanation for the courts? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder even though you were tapping her phone? That's what I'm saying. Objection. The prosecutor is a fucking bitch made. He's bitch made. You're bitch made, Edward. Edward Edgeworth. You're bitch made, Edgeworth. You're bitch made. Ha! I'd like to see her pull that one off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You're probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that one off. Oh, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought of that. And of course, I can and will. You can't be serious. No way. Way, I say, way, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Hmm. Okay, so the killing happened around 9 o'clock that night? Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, normal but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. I, iced coffee? Making this up? Ask the bellboy. Ergo, the witness was not... Nobody said she was at the scene. I didn't see. However, that is separate from the crime. Testimony still stands. No. Um. Okay. What are we gonna do? Here's the thing. I think... Okay, let me wait for the ad break to end. Okay. Yeah, the ad break's done. So y'all, we've gotten to the point now. I say it just saved it, but we've gotten to the point now where Edgeworth is basically saying fuck that right he's saying fuck that this bitch made edgeworth is saying fuck that right and saying that although she was wiretapping the phone it is independent of the murder and she's saying that she got iced coffee from the bellboy so we saw the bellboy i can't exa remember exactly what he had said but last time i checked there was two glasses of wine in her room and i didn't see no fucking coffee so i think we should call the bellboy as a witness and i don't know if we should continue examining miss may it is very relevant it's not irrelevant at all so i'm i do think that we should examine miss may but but i do think calling the bellboy as a witness to at least a test i don't know Hmm. Should we call the bellboy as a witness? I'm trying to think. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what? I saved. Let me make sure. I'm gonna save again. I saved, so if all goes low. Yeah, it's okay. I I don't want you to spoil. I don't want you to spoil. It's okay. At this at this juncture, like with this choice, I don't want a hint. But if I do want like a hint or some help, I'll definitely ask. Vince would like to call the hotel boy boy as a witness or something. Oh, I'm objecting to calling the bellboy. boy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping has nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to this condition, one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? I called into question after you examined the bellboy. Oh, nah. What? Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save, but I'm not gonna save there. I'll save for this one. I'll save for that one. Okay. Hmm. Phoenix Wright summons OJ Simpson in attack mode. What the... <laughs> Your 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 honor, I must acquit. The statue does not fit, your honor. I must acquit. Uh I don't wanna accept the condition. I'm gonna be so honest, I really don't. But he's so confident for a reason though, right? I don't want this to get in my head, man. All right, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood, I accept your condition. Hmm, fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Um, um, very well, the court calls the... Oh, I'm fucked, bro. I just fucked up the whole case, bro. We about to be on those saves in a second. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does not... He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Watergate Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call about eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for iced coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her precisely at precisely the requested time, and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see the defense may begin the cross examination. Right, I'm ready. I hope this is it. If I can't prove Miss May wasn't involved with the murder somehow, Maya will be finished. Okay, y'all. I got this. At this point, it's not even the craziest thing that have happened. Oh, Lord. I'm the head bellboy at the Fine Watergate Hotel in business for four generations. Okay. Um, let's just look over this stuff real quick. The cell phone is not going to be relevant here. Um... Okay, let's see. She asked for iced coffee to be brought to her. I brought it to her precisely at the requested time, and I delivered the iced coffee right to her. Okay. One more time. I'll press him until he spills the beans or his tea. Okay. Hmm? Wait a second. Hold on. If you brought it to her, <laughs> she told your bad just let him know you're a lawyer. I don't think that gonna help, right? And I think he's gonna be like, the judge is gonna be like, are you fucking stupid, nigga? Get the fuck out of our courtroom. Okay. Here's the thing. She said that at nine, she she was at the window. She saw it at nine. So that doesn't make any sense. Let's press you on that. That doesn't make any sense. Your shirt was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very... Yeah. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she... The guest favored me with an embarrasser, sir. Huh? What? What are you talking about? 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 What are you... What are you talking about? 
What are you talking about? Are you being for real? What are you talking about? What do you mean she favored you with an embarrasser? Did she, did she, did she, did she slobber on a different knot? Embarrasser? Is that... Embrassé? Is that what he's saying? It's French for kiss. Sounds pretty fishy. <laughs> I don't think, first of all. But where, what? That's what I'm saying! The slobber knocker. Bruh, I'm so correct. I'm so correct. Nobody is more correct than me. Nobody is more correct than me. Nobody's more correct than me. Okay. Okay, I don't deny that, but I don't know if you brought it to her at precisely requested time. Precisely 9 o'clock then? Precisely, exactly, most definitely 9 p.m., sir. I caught him red and How can you be so sure? Tihi, I'd like the iced coffee exactly 9, something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on your door. Why was she so particular about that time? No. No. This boba has actually no reason to lie. Now, if you had any decency... Hmm. It was a bit tedious to witness me leave the stand. We gonna fight to the end, bruh. Wait. Please wait. Yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on for long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edward. All right, Mr. Wright, I give you one last question. That's all. This is really, this is really my last chance. What do I ask him about? Okay. Um, the bed was freshly made. Uh, room service. Okay. I'm gonna save this in a different slot. And I'm gonna continue. Okay. Let's ask him about the check-in. Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was she was a beautiful, beautiful person. Don't mind you for about that. She was just my type of girl. So it was a disappointment, really. Excuse me? What exactly was a disappointment? I am so smart. Well, I'm not without charm, but sir, even I'd have a little chance with her lover there. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, oh, or rather quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? I object. That was objectionable. Nope, objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. I, I, I suck my nuts, suck my nuts, suck my nuts. Come on, no, suck them. Suck them. Suck them. Because you're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes. Quite indeed. It was the, uh, the good barista over there, Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Mm. Bring his life points down to zero and send him to a shadow room. Okay, the airport during the holiday season. Y'all good luck, y'all flying this holiday season. Because who, why would you do that? And why would you not book in advance? And why would you not do this? To, oh, please. He gonna be there until next year. Oof. He got snitched on. Damn. You, you fool. Now he got snitched on, man. I've done it. I've won. Not yet. Not yet, you haven't. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought the room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor. 
We have just learned of another person who in involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold it impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple, it was the man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oof, your honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man who was with her. The billboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof. Suck my gonads. Take a lick. Edge worth about to beat on this dick. Mmm. Damn, the dust in the courtroom must be pretty stable with all that dust slamming. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I built them myself. I'm strong as fuck. Snitches get stitches and informants get gunshots. Yup. Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. No, they're not. The deaths were made by Jamaican domino players. No, that's what I'm talking about. The way they slam it down, you would have thought the weight of God is coming down in the hand. The weight of a thousand men. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. My understood. Yes. <gasps> your, yes, your honor. That is all for today at the trial, Miss Faye. Court is adjourned. You guys see? I'm even good at this game. blaze now you might you probably weren't you might not have been there during the first part when i did the first episode but i went through that episode with like i think one blunder but it wasn't like a game breaking blunder you know like i went through smooth as fuck i went through smooth i went through smooth okay i i ate that trial up i actually ate that trial up completely okay so What is it? What was I going to say? So how are you rating my performance between like zero being like Trump's lawyers and 10 being like Casey Anthony's lawyers? Because if y'all know anything about Casey Anthony, y'all know that her lawyers did the thing for her to not be in jail right now. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty good. There's a reason why most Caribbean domino players do some form of construction or carpentry. That's what I'm saying. At some point, they all have a carpentry side quest. As a first time player, it's a seven out of 10. I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. I give myself a, an a eight, I eight though. I give myself an eight, but I'll take that seven out of 10 from you because you know all about this game. This game makes my head hurt because I actually have to think, I actually have to think hard. Not as good as getting the OJ free. That nigga was good for getting him free. Oh my goodness, bro. That was fucking mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'll still never understand that. You were amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. Thanks for stopping in, Blaze. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Yeah, she was she was the girl who locked her kid in the car trunk and the kid died. Um though it is presumed that like she gave her kid um like I guess some sleeping drugs or whatever. And then um what's it called? It's not chlorophyll, it's chloroform. I be thinking hard when I'm playing Valorant, but I'm not using knowledge I got from school necessarily to play Valorant. I took a law class, so I have to go back and think about how they were doing mock trials and stuff. Man. I have to like, cause I, this one is just like so much evidence. And Valorant is like, shoot, gun, go, shoot, gun, go. But we were doing strategy yesterday too. Also, tonight I will be streaming the qualifiers. I will be streaming the qualifiers tonight not the qualifiers the semifinals because we won our game so we're gonna be in the semifinals so if y'all want you can pop in and watch because it's gonna be super fun 
Then again, the other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips, it sent shivers up my spine. Hmm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... Fancy law degree? Imagine thinking I have a fancy law degree? Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Everyone I grew up around that was like an adult would be like, mm, you should be a lawyer. And I'm like, I feel like oh, being a lawyer would be something that I would be easily good at and would be very like just lucrative for me as a career. But one, I don't have... I don't think enough passion to be a lawyer and I feel like the mental toll from taking on certain cases would just that would be it for me my career's done after two months oh I see but I got a great lead in today's trial a lead that man with Miss May he's the key oh I get it what happened to Miss May after after that anyway I heard they arrested her I guess she's learning her charms won't work anywhere or everywhere Sorry, I have to tie my bonnet in the back. I don't like it being tied in the front right now. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway. This case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. It's this. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you! I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. And you're probably right. It probably will come in handy. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. Yeah, but once we got the truth, in fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center and it's up to me to set her free. Y'all, we about to eat this up. We about to eat this up. I think I'm going to finish this episode and then I'll probably end the stream. Okay, let's save it here in the first one. September 7th, 311 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place like this. <laughs> it's really quite uh, moving. Not you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. <laughs> Hi, Nat. Oh my gosh. Hi, Nat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I haven't seen you in a bit. How's your day going? How has things been for you? Have you been doing? Not you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Did you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the stricken fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So? What is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be to so totally whacked? Don't kill me. Okay. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school? Okay, now you don't have to flame me like that. I didn't do anything to deserve being a flame. Okay. Lawyer school is right. Also, I want to move something. Hold on. Let me move this. Okay. 
Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. I've been laying in bed this morning for a bit. I've worked in a couple hours. I'm really stressed. I'm really busy with school, but it's about to be winter break, so I only have to worry about one class over the break. Me, I'm stressing about just getting into school, so I'm trying to prepare myself the best way I can. I still have some stuff I have to prepare for auditions and everything, but. Yeah, I still have some stuff I have to prepare for auditions and everything, but I haven't yet. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm like super, I'm, I'm stressed out my fucking mind. I have to pass these classes and I'm not passing them at all. Um, but yeah, you have winter break to look forward to. That's me. I'm just trying to take it one step at a time because fucking university is stressing as fuck. And I'm trying to find a job, but I can't find a job. But, um, what else? I was gonna say something else. Yeah, also, yeah, am I, I'm excited for the rest of my tourney this weekend so we won our qualifiers last night so hopefully we win our semi-finals tonight and then we get to play in the finals so i'm excited for that i'm very excited Yeah. You have to retake one of your classes. Yeah. Oh, man. Sciences is one thing. I like the sciences, but I only like electricity and, like, um, how gas is in space. Creep. This woman is just impossible to talk to. That man. About the man who's staying with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had somebody to get her to talk. Let's go about your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding, scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or is it just me? Let's present. Um, I enjoy biology and chemistry, but physics is just so much math. Oh. You don't have to tell me. There's a reason I didn't take physics or biology or chemistry. Chemistry is actually the one that I do the worst in. Because there's so much... There's already so much math in chemistry and... Ugh, dude. Mm. Me and chemistry are not friends. Mmm. Chemistry is a lot of math, but nothing compared to physics. I believe you. I believe you wholeheartedly. Let me see something. This guard monitors a visitor's room, or maybe he just didn't see a lot of women like Miss May. To retake, because my professor sucked at math. Yeah. Were they one of those? Pro were they just like a bad professor and just kind of like didn't know it or didn't care? Or were they like a bad professor and proud of being a bad professor? It's fuck that. It's not for the camera. Okay. 
I'm gonna move. Me. Save. Me. September 7th. It's a crossword I'm saying. Maybe he's avoiding me. <gasps> the painting's gone. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting? Yeah. Yeah, there was a painting of... It was Fisherman. Oh. Oh. What's this? It's an old painting. Something's written in pencil on the back. DLC Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. That's her mom. That's her mom. Yeah, I switch it with the one I took. Yes, I'm gonna swap the photos because this is the guy that killed her. And as much as I love your mom, I'm switching the photos. Okay. Expensive looking. Yep, funny. You don't look like that. Okay, I'm not gonna go over this stuff again i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to the hotel oh you're back here okay thanks sorry for putting you on the spot no not at all sir your efforts today rep yes yeah, so our reputation will be swell as the hotel <laughs> where the murderer used a wiretap we can charge a premium for that room, of course. It'll be great for business. Well, Miss May has been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. Let me type it out. Okay, I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murder iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in a bad dream? So you're on it. Let me... Okay, no, examine. Huh? I have to leave it there, bro. I do not want to leave it there. Ah, uh, yes. We plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars for earn you three minutes of a view to kill? Just kidding, sir. Oh, you're not funny. Um, let's talk about the man with Miss May. I wanted to ask you the man was with Miss May. Oh, uh, yes. He struck me as a lady killer before in the direction. I knew that from the mate. Him and Ick, we both carry the scent of danger. Okay, a photo. Yup. 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 Oh, I have a photo. I have a photo. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective? Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just want to say detective once. You know how it is. No, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about- How about I write an affidavit swearing that it's him? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. Okay. Mm. Okay, hold on a second. Let's save. I'm gonna save over file two. Oh. 
No, I should just save over this one. Now I'm, I'm going off to play Truck Simulator later to <laughs> attorney Brit. Thanks for popping in, Jay. I hope your trucks don't break down anytime soon, but go smooth for you. <laughs> okay. Um. Here's the thing. Here's what could go wrong. If I have him write it, right, and he's still talking to Edgeworth, he can just say that his testimony is bogus, right? He can just say that his testimony is fucking bogus. But if I turn him down, he could go to Edgeworth anyway, so... Well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I'll be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Okay, not even Miss Megan played dumb to this. About Miss May. Oh, sir, not to boast, but the I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious guy here is this guy. Okay. Um, could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. On that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel Murder Manor. No. No. Okay. I want to move. I want to go, um... I want to go to the detention center. Oh, God. Okay. Present. Oh, bitch, I got you now. Have a look at this. Look, I said I'm tell several times I'm not telling you. Where'd you? Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that it was him? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with, who is most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Let's save again. Let's save again. Let's push her. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that it's, that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to the murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh. Oh, fine. I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists up in the air? Oh. <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red, white. Ooh, red, white, blue. Mm. The president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red, white, information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm, so this is the man that you that was with you the night of the murder. I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red, white at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, at least him. Time to take action. What about its affidavit discarded? Nice. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. I need to pee. <laughs> so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back.
I am back. Okay. I want to go back to law office and see if I can get the photo. That's not oh. Boomer clearing up the throat. Hi, you again. Oh, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. You're quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me, the trial, the trial. He was there? Remind me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through Mia, maybe? Brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? Okay. I apologize. I- it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I will, I- I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. You came to see the trial? Yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just that me, a sister, that poor girl, my boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone badly for the poor girl. If you were that worried, why didn't you offer to defend her? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No. I'm sorry. I just need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. <sighs> And if I had the photo, that would have been A+, plus, but I don't have it. The other day, I'm sure there was a pretentious looking painting on the wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know, that one, the one I mean. Anyway, where'd it go? Ah, yes. Well, I got rid of it. Quite tired of the thing, actually. I sold it, you see. That's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I'd buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't... I... Mumble, mumble. Okay. Let's see if there's anything I have to present to him. Okay. Let me save again. get that give it back at once i'm sorry to have taken it without your knowledge but i have to know who is this man he was most likely in the april May's room the night of the murder what's that you say are you quite sure my boy what has him so flustered i wonder i beg your pardon but i must ask you to leave i need to be alone he's fallen silent as a stone a rather large stone i guess i should return that photo what no uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, I don't want to give him the photo. I do not want to give him the photo. What? Why would I want to give him the photo? Sha. Sure. Back up, man. I'm not giving you the photo, friend. I have to go to Blue Corp. Okay. Looks like the forensics are taking a day off today. Detective Gum, she's nowhere in sight. Yeah, let's move around. Let's look. Her favorite potted plant. Sky's blue. Okay. Oh! He's talking about are things missing and he's saying no i'm imagining things you are definitely not imagining things well <sighs> okay let's go to blue corp what's with the surreal decor welcome please furnish look at the painting Look at the painting. Look at the- Ooh, girl. 
Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? Oh my. <laughs> I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright? Inquirably. Mr. Wright, is it? Right. I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my gi giant giantesque vocabulary. What's this guy's problem? I'm Red White. CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me in contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily challenge. What a fruitgate. <laughs> Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, you're not? That's the only explanation as to why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with such a man like myself? This guy's arrogance is meter is off the scale. Okay, let's talk with him. Let's see. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What she had done. You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She was paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you we do not condone legal methods. It's inevitable that she would do this. It's... it's... Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. That painting, though. I have the murder. On the night of the murder, we're in April May's hotel room. Who can say? I still don't pay attention to some details. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'll be capable of doing that. He does raise a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement, weirdo. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what that might be. A big painting on the wall over there. When did you get it? Okay, when did you get that painting? Hmm, I have no idea. I forgot. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find the painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. Huh, what? Oh! Me get beat up! Impunch? What? Me get beat up! Oh my gosh! Oh my word, him did beat me, man. Why? Why? Whoa, you just beat me, man. So, well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do? A charging with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Need my exposition. The police, of course, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comp your compension. comprehension. You came here from Grody Burgers, I assume. Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him. Why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps then he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go on now. Skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Blue Corp. Would you be kind to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? We put in a language you're sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. Oh, he really doesn't give a fuck. Okay. Uh... Well, if he doesn't have anything more to say, I don't want to show him anything. Let me go to the detention center. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Oh, shit. Fuck, that's not good. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. <clears throat> Jumping Hosefat. Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not seen all yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. Much is clear. Mr. White. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Uh oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, there's something that has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting, Mr. Grossberg. 
There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said that had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you're Mia's understudy. Perhaps it's fate. What is he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. Oh. And you got a gold lighter on your desk and you owe people money? Yeah. Prison. years all because of the dlc incident as you may have guessed the name on the back of those photographs as you suspected i could not stand in defense of maya because of this white would have destroyed me if i did so that's the connection it's hard for me to tell you this my boy but arresting red white will be nigh on impossible impossible why he has information on everyone it gives him an iron grip he owns judges attorneys prosecutors police and politicians what they are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. Media. Her name was Misty Faye. Faye, indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the behest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DLC DL6 incident. Why were you blackmailed over this? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment. Oh my. Why did you do that? Now why did you do that? Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, Mr. White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of the country as he sees fit. Bro, if you had just come clean, like, your life would have probably been fine right now. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office, she followed us every move for years. She may have recorded. Huh. Okay, let me ask him about these again. All right to know. All right, Mr. Wright. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. 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 I. I 
Let's go back to the office. Mr. Griffith, should there be clues? Yes. Misty Faye, that's me and my mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Read it. I've tarnished the Faye name. Oh, my mother finish. I'm determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion, his name is... Hmm, the record stops here. So Mia knew Grossberg. Let's look J through S. Much here. Skim. Well, no harm in flipping through, I guess. The biggest part here is S. Suicide? Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved with these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find the most disturbing one. Okay. Yeah, let's check them again. Let's go to Z T to Z. White. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? <gasps> oh. Is there anything in there? Okay. Okay, nothing else. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to look at. Let's go to the detention center. She's still not here. Okay, let's see this again. found this in Mina's files, so she was investigating Red White as I expected. If you want to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Okay. Hmm. hmm the bub boy seems to be out, huh? Water coming from the shower. La dee dee, money making, money making. I got the blues. Someone seems to be enjoying washing the showers. Let's examine. Give me this fucking screwdriver, bitch. Give me this fucking screwdriver. What? Give me the fucking screwdriver, bro. Give me the fucking screwdriver. Talking about there's no telling what he would do. Who cares what he would do?
There was something I had to look at, my bad. Okay. Uh... Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. I'm guessing it's supposed to be a desk. My, my, this is quite the thing. I'm painting. Why does Mr. White have it now? Blackmail. Impressive lineup of trophies. Judge's special runner-up. Best participation. Judge's cooperation award. Special good try prize. Hmm. The words judges and special kind of stand out. He probably just strong-armed them into giving him something. The statue of a man holding up the world. Blue corp sign is... The blue corp sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. There's no point in asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence. Um, why, yes. There's my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. But of course I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It's okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. I have a murder. This guy's a pro at pulling wool root. I gotta get something. Stop that. Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. Uh... Okay, let me ask about Miss Ming. I think we're past needing to talk about Miss Ming. I've gotta put this guy on the spot and quick. Hmm? What's the matter? You seem distressed. Okay. See what we can present because I just saved. Okay. That's the only clue Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, the word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this Mi article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You're blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in a lot of the suicide suicide cases that me investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now, investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. We should be searching for the one who killed Mia. Secretary's office. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. Mr. White, excuse me, what I should be doing is now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping your phone. And then Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Oh, no. Instead, please connect me to the... <gasps> Oh, 
Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up, you guys. I messed up. Oh, flubber jackets, man. Dude, I flubber flubbed it, man. I flubber flubba flobbed it. I flubber flubba flobbed it, man. I have to respond to this message. Sorry about that. It said, oh man, I'm fucked, man. Oh, what's her? White? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, chief prosecutor. Changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, a very important witness I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. This man's standing in front of me. He looks dazed but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer man. What? Mr. White. This isn't another one of those. Chief prosecutor. I do not believe you're in the position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Mia. How dare you? I will point the finger at you and you'll be tried as Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the lawyer local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting. Ah, Butts, Harry Butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, that's right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, fuck you, visitor's room. I can't believe it's only been one day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's gonna send a trap for me and the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, God. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you... I explained what had happened to Maya. <laughs> I don't believe it! How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? Oh, nah. I fucked up. <laughs> but it's okay. Fuck it, we ball. My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far, Mr. Wright. Please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Okay, let's make this choice wisely. I don't want you to defend me on in court. Cheering me on a court isn't really gonna help because you're on the you're you're fighting your old stuff. But you could help me break out of here. Right, okay. Listen, I want you to help me break out of here. You mean a jailbreak? Yeah, tonight's our only chance. Alright, huh? Oh, I'd better go get a hacksaw while the stores are still open. Oh, oh, and a rope ladder and getaway car. Can you drive? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 
I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. I was not joking. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. Oh. Uh, this looks like this guy looks like all of the radio like all of the like tv hosts mel meshed into like one guy this is it tomorrow it's me or him i can't believe bro punched me square in my jaw and i didn't even punch him back i didn't even try Oh, man. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. Defendant lobby number one. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! Prosecutor Edgeworth, I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. Mm-hmm. So, you're saying that I'm going to be guilty, end of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright, anything. Why? Why? How can you terminate an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All I can hope is to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Mr. Edgeworth, you've changed. Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. Phoenix, well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait, your defense attorney isn't here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? Yeah, because I'm that good. Okay, let's do this. I'm that good, fam. I'm that good. 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number one. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The fence is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. <laughs> As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we'll be having a testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask... Edgeworth, why his witness didn't testify before? It's like it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's gonna raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Mr. Edgeworth, you want an explanation to the court? Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. <laughs> I'm going to prison. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Oh god. Uh, your name?
Your name? Yes, that's what I said. Oh dear, do my lo do my locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Court. Oh my gosh, I'm yawning because like I've been up now just streaming for like five hours, but I haven't eaten anything. Like I ate oats, but like. Ugh. I need something like sustenance. Mm. Whew, let me get a quick stretch in. Oh my goodness. Just to keep my body up. Plus, I've been doing a lot of reading. So. Did you know the victim is Mia Fang? That would be negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem, why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho. I hope you have made peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Easy peasy. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, that's a, a reading to you, some papers by the window. And then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was terrible impaction, and then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Okay. Okay. It was about 9 o'clock. Uh-huh. How are you? By the window, you mean the one directly across from Faye and Cola offices? Correct, that is the only window you see. And there you were reading papers? Correct, the Gatewater is a businessman hotel and I'm a busy businessman who has business to do. And I heard Bedlam coming from outside. Surprise, I turned to look at the building across the way. I saw him, spike-haired man. Spiky-haired? Bitch, why did you focus on that? What you just said conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes, 40. 40, don't add them together. I think the eye, the witness is trying to say his eyesight. Yeah, no. And what did you do then? I called Miss May. But you gave chase. Finally, it was a terrible impaction. It was all over. Okay. Bedlam? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's press you on that one. What was me doing at this time? She's just finished. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Relevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. 
This man was acting alone. You make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, I know. After all, I'm El Presidente. Please continue. Okay. Let's see. What evidence do I have? Okay. I don't have the photo anymore. Okay. Oh god, what do I do? <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, impaction, do you just mean impact? Okay, I need to find the weakness there. How did you know what the time was? Because I'm absolutely perfect. No, no, no. You're not getting away with that. Yeah, she ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after room service arrived. Ah, uh, let's press further. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May, but he testified he did not see you at the time. Ahem, this is your concern? City lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull something off like that. Hmm, tell us, what were you doing at that time? I was quietly perusifying. How could you hear? What's this me doing at that time? Should just okay. Oh, I have to go through that again. Can you be a little more detailed on that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, Comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Does she know? I'm absolutely perfect. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Wait right there. Mr. White... You've dug your own grave. I know, the background music is great. What is this? You said the va the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim was here. If the victim ran to the left as you claimed she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run to the left. So did he witness the killing? Wait a second, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says right. Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Huh. Okay, let's save. I always save before I make these choices because I don't wanna I wanna just go back if I have to. Um Both witnesses are telling the truth. Huh, I doubt it. Uh rather that this that 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 does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. 
Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law, law office is a fan co of course. It would make sense, it would make sense. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, it would appear that she ran left. Please, there's no times for jokes and ill taste. That's where the killer was standing. So guess what I'm applying? So guess what I'm implying? I'm implying that he is the killer. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion. The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Suck yourself. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho, ho, ho. You provide us with such entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I've been unclear, and for this I apologize. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify months more? <sighs> oh, God. I'm gonna have to work so hard for this one. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That's what I saw. And then, with her last bit of strength, she ran to the right. Mm-mm. That doesn't make sense. She would have had two blows. That's what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. We'd be cross-examining. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Okay. I know what I'm gonna get him on. Okay. Uh, watching both times? Because I was. Please excuse me for not just finding this sooner. Yep. Okay. I didn't want to press him on it. I wanted to press tab. Um. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Uh, mm, now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Okay. Yeah, I know. You're getting your nuts crunched by me, buddy. Your nuts are getting crunched. Your nuts are getting crunched. Hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. Objection, uh-uh-uh. The witness is confused because he's lying. I, emph I emphatically request that there will be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice, don't let him get away. Very well, if the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, Mr. White. Mr. White? Oh, okay. Um, well, see, I looked out the other window when I heard the thing fall. And then the moment, the next moment I saw Mia run left and the killer attacked, but she dodged. And then, um, and then she turned and she ran out the door. And then you did her in with a single blow, thwap. Hmm. Thwap indeed. Very well. You may begin a cross-examination. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it's hurting. Deal with it. <laughs> this is almost over. You're both- you're getting cooked, fam. You're getting cooked. You're getting cooked. Okay. Okay. On God, on God, Gurk, I'm about to lock him up. He's about to be finished. And then ran for the door. 
What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. You're done. You're done. You're finished. You're done. I'm just waiting for the ad to finish for those who, you know, aren't sub. But. <laughs> That's crazy. I got bro dead to rights. Let's save right here. ends in 10 seconds i'm just waiting i'm just i'm just waiting okay the ad is done so i waited i waited for the ad to be done because i didn't sorry i did not see when the timer was otherwise i would have paused the ad but I got him dead to rights. Also, welcome in, Girk. I hope you're, hope you're doing well this afternoon, because this afternoon now, I've been doing this shit since 8 a.m. But I got him dead to rights. Mr. White, please try to remain calm. Mr. Right here is only trying to flush you on baseless accusations. Oh, oh, right. Thank you, Miles. Please. <laughs> you did her in with a single blow. Thwap? That doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. Ho ho ho. Yes, you see, I'm a man of peace, Phoenix. He's getting a lot less talkative. Okay. You're good? What's that? What's LA? I like the game. Um, I'm liking the game a lot. There is a lot of dialogue and a lot of stuff that requires a lot of brain power, but overall, it is fun and satisfying so far. It just does take a while, but I expect that with these story games, to be honest. Cause that's how The Walking Dead was, and that's how, um, what was it? There's another game I played that was like this, too. That's how Dog and Rope is, too, but. You heard that thing fall? What exactly is that thing? Uh oh. Oh, that? Um, like glass stand, right? The one that's falling over the scene. Yeah, very odd. Mr. White. What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. That doesn't make sense either. The glass stand was lying on the floor. That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand up before? Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, a ton of dialogue. But I'm trying I just trying to speak it fast. Cause otherwise we're gonna be here forever. Why me? Well, I was instructed not to wait, one moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I'm so so confused. Why it's falling apart. Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgering you further. Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. Very well. The witness may continue his account. In the next moment, I saw him swing over to the left. Mm-hmm. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the light sand. The stand broke into pieces when it fell. 
just by seeing the broken pieces you would have had no idea it was a light stand i am so smart i'm so smart i'm so smart my brain is large my brain it's large beyond compare so tell me exactly when was it that you saw the light stand answer the question isn't it obvious i saw the stand before it fell over so you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then correct that would be no problemo right hmm uh a big problemo there's a big problemo or i mean problem here what problem is this mr white let me make sure i have this straight you saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred correct that is so it is conclusive definitive undeniable and unimpe unimpeachable no it's impossible you couldn't have seen the stand what why couldn't he you have proof yup i sure do your honor the person at the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over look at this these are the floor plans to the scene of the murder yes oh <laughs> dead to rights i got you dead to rights i got you dead to rights mr white i got you dead to rights you eggplant looking mother e you are done you're done you're done you are finished look through the window of the office this is the area you'll be able to see note that the stand is not within the visible area well mr white what do you have to say to that uh, uh right R ridiculosity mr white if you were in the gatewater hotel as you claim you could not have seen the stand before it fell over in fact you would not have been able to see it after it fell either there's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as the glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen it from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place, bitch. Mr. White? Mr. White, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Oh, please just let this end. Just let this end. <gasps> please. 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 Please just let this end. <laughs> what things now? What did I say that, that made you remember I was Canadian? Please enlighten me because sometimes I catch it, but 90% of the time I don't. I did break him. You're finished, you're done. Edsworth, you can continue to edge yourself out the courtroom. Edge yourself off a cliff, maybe. What? I forgot about Edgeworth, Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? What? Ooh, I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. Oh, 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 oh my god. Please let this end. I waited too long to say that. I forgot where I heard it. Oh, goodness. I'll probably end up saying it again, chances are. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain what you mean to the court by this. Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He orders his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Faye. What does that have to do with your honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you enter Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Correct. Oh, he's right back up. God damn! Now I have to break through his armor again i have to break through three different pieces of armor again bro the mental fortitude of this guy the recovery time the recovery time is impeccable oh, oh my god oh my gosh that doesn't make sense 
Now I'm confused. Please explain what this means to the court. Glad your honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position very clear. He determined that Mr. Glass knew, Mr. White knew Glass Hand was in the office. He had shown that there was only one time Mr. Mr. White could have seen it at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White is the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to the office well before the murder took place when he went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass slide stand then. There you go, Mr. Fire. Oh my God. Oh, guys. In conclusion, he's debunked me. Oh, fuck off, man. Fuck off. Fuck all the way off. Fuck off. Fuck off and suck your mom. Fuck off and suck your mom. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. You testified to me. You know you didn't. Oh, oh, you gotta start recording people. Phoenix, you're not recording people. Record people. Record people. You're not recording people. Record people. You need to start doing that. Oh my. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered Faye and Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so to place a wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand the night before the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by sound? Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Make it cross-examine. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Oh, fuck off. You just have to tell me good luck? Brev. Okay. I'm gonna save again. I am so tempted to just finish this trial next stream, bro. Because this is dragged on for fucking four and a half hours, man. But I got this. This is easy. I'd enter the fan call law offices... Okay. Same, I know. Huh. Why did you tap me as phone? Okay. We have detective agency. Okay. Uh, let's present this thing. Your honor, that that statement contradicts this evidence. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Huh, really? <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's not this. Maybe it has something to do with the thinker. Uh. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so it made a lasting impression on me. Such a mutatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. There's nothing for me to press him on. Oh well. Maybe he's rattle enough I can bluff something out of him. Okay. That's not what I'm trying to think. I forgot about that. Okay. Bro. Um. Hold it. 
Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Face. Huh. Was it really you that went into the office or was it Miss May? Identified fingerprints were several days old were found there. There are some these lights, and I owe Edward. He's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to. Oh my gosh. Place the wire tap. What? No! What? 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 This brother scene goes now. That's how delusional he is. M M Mia! Oh no. Brother fainted so hard that he just died, bro. He down bad? I mean, he did miss a date with the girl at the waiting lobby? What happened? You fainted! All oh, right, I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. Good. Hey, Phoenix. Gak? That's the way to greet an old friend. Bro, it's hallucinating. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. You're Maya? Do you know Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was a, enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya's channeling you, Mia? That's right. I'm Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's why I came here to tell you. But we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now, listen. You've already won, huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Yeah. The one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix. White wrote that, not me. That's true. So what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. Thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item? Glass light stand. Date of purchase September 4th. <gasps> That's right, Phoenix. I bought the light. The Lulu. It's the Salulu. The Lulu is the Salulu. The Lulu is the Salulu. The Lulu is the Salulu. Oh, man. Dead to rights. Dead to Because I was like, why the hell is he giving up? I didn't give up. This guy's... You, Phoenix, you gotta have a backbone. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. Okay. Reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. I know you're innocent. You just have to prove it. Right. So she, she couldn't come back from the dead to say, here's exactly how you can beat this guy or X, Y, and Z. Well, I mean, she did say that. She did. She basically just said, flip around the piece of paper. Because apparently that's something that we we can't do. 1, 16 p.m. District Court, courtroom number one. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather, are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start off. Let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. That is required. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor! Please give me one... Why don't you give me one more chance? I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask this of you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on the matter? Why are you asking him? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. 
I'm about to, I'm curling my toes thinking about how I'm about to get you, bruv. You're done. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? What? Ha you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of this receipt. The other side? Your honor. Would you tell the court what's written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, glass light stand. And the date of purchase? Why? That's the day before the murder. Oh, 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 oh. You see? Mr. White. When you allegedly entered Fade and Cole law offices at the beginning of September? You're fucking lying. The stand could not have been there. Well, Mr. Waite, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. It's impossible achievable. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, your honor. <laughs> I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guiltily under these judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of objection. Oh your objection. Shut up! Shut up! Not so Oh my god! <gasps> ah! What's wrong with you? No way you can warn his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edward. Oh, oh, oh my god. All he does is edge his way through like please. There's a certain thread of logic. <laughs> Edward, there's no concrete proof that we just right is innocent. Ergo. Fuck off. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Rice grant his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter hmm another inquiry this isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports edgeworth always has some bullshit that's what i'm saying like this guy is just like edging 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 all over the place this guy is terrible this guy just makes up evidence as he pleases this is bad we're not waiting to see object i hello Um. Uh, hello? Everything is lagging! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Everything's lagging. Oh god. I know you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. Is everything lagging for you guys too? <laughs> or is it just my OBS and my screen? Oh God. I'm trying to see about minimizing the game for a second. Oh God. Oh god. I don't know what happened. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know what's happened. Oh god. Hello? Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna close the game, I think. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I can't believe this is happening. Oh god. I mean, I saved recently. Okay. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to mute myself. I'm gonna see... Oh god, what could be the problem? Oh god, okay. We'll see about getting this sorted out. fix it i think i fixed it oh god it's still lagging a little bit okay okay wait i think i fixed it i'm gonna exit the game for a second so i can see if it's like oh god i'm lagging oh god Oh god, OBS, don't do this. Oh god! You guys! <laughs> I fixed it! <laughs> I fixed it! Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. I'm gonna reopen the game and finish this up. Uh, after the ad, I'm gonna take intermission and make sure this thing doesn't break again. Hi, <laughs> Nat. Oh my god. That was, that was scary. That was so scary. I didn't know what was causing the problem. I still don't know what caused the problem. But I think it's OBS. Because my OBS is like so many versions behind. So I think my OBS is like not happy right now. But we'll figure it out.
Okay. We're back. We're going to finish this once and for all. We are going to finish this episode once and for flipping all. Oh my goodness. Continue. I, I saved a little bit before I had to close it. Okay, you guys are back. We're back. We're back up. Oh my goodness. That was frightening a little bit. I don't know what the cause of it was again, but needless to say, it's fixed now. And I know what to do if it happens again, so. Eh? What? No way. It's Edgeworth. Oh, you fucking Edgelord. Okay. Object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong the trial any further. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh-uh-uh! If anyone's gonna call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I needed a date to ascertain where these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of the trial- Oh my fucking god, bro. <sighs> And after Mia showed up to help me, you know. <laughs> Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. The witness will stay. Phoenix, read this note aloud. Hmm, Mia, what's this? Your Honor, if I may, you're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life's riding on this. I have something I would like to read to the court. about to get busted you're busted the evidence is right that's what i'm saying like and he's just like well that doesn't object i guess here's the problem though i guess technically because even though i've absolved i've absolved I've, like by proxy i should have absolved myself from guilt but i've really only proven that like the guys, I don't know. The fucking, maybe they're starting to brainwash me too. What the fuck? Mia giving me a list of many names. Many of them started strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop, desist, hold, please. Stop, make him stop. How, how did you get that list, Mr. White? Admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list would be released to the press. I... I confess. I confess. I did it. I hit her. I did not hit her. I hit her mark. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you, s I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirit and it was oh my gosh hmm well this court finds the defense ahem rather to defend it mr phoenix right not guilty uh, go, 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 go. suck my nuts suck my nuts that's right mr white that's right mr white oh suck my gonads dude suck my gonads that is all this court is adjourned september 9th 2 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a Fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you- This is fucking crazy, by the way, that she was allowed to speak in court? Hello? I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. Like how I miss you. We should have went for our drinks. I was gonna clap them cheeks. Ah! Oh, ah! Don't worry, I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief, <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight, say 9 p.m.? The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia. <laughs> September 9th. I'm so glad there was no fucking shit in between. 902. 
being here. It's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia, I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? Wahaha, you should see your face. Mia! Oh, that's Maya. Oh, Maya. What? Do I, did I look like my sister? Look like? You were her! Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix. Go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this, see? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of, huh? She means the office. That's the office. Someone has to help with the new right and co law offices? Oh, that's right. I've I've inherited I've inherited my dead bosses slash per like slash like potential future lovers law office. And who better but me? Maya Faye reporting for duty. Wait, no. On the second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. Maya here, ready to get down to business. Oh gosh. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great it's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means. We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it's Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in I'd probably be in jail. Right in cola offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> that's what he, that's what I the sound that I pictured the plays in the scene. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here watching. Of course they gotta take out the big titty lady first, bro. Right, okay, Nick, let's do this, huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, there's time of wasting. Okay, wait up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. Don't ever be a big breasted lady in anime, bro. You, you will not live long. Okay, I'm not playing it right now, though. I'm not playing it right now. Nope. Nope. No. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do the preview. Whatever. You're disgracing for last time. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. Oh, goodness gracious. Preview. The moon? No. It is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see. No, oh, bro's cold with it. See you in hell, you evil magistrate. Whoa! The warrior swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns. Bruh. 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 Let me out. Oh my god. Let me out. Yes. Get the fuck out of here, man. Goodness gracious. Finally. Finally. I'm finished with that chat. That is the long. Dude, we've been live for five and a half hours. Okay. All right. I'm going on the ending screen. You should stick around for the raid. I have a couple more things to say, but overall, I did enjoy that chapter a bunch, though I did not appreciate, first of all, how long it dragged on and how many, oh, but wait, actually, oh, uh, but wait, oh, uh, but wait. Oh, goodness. And, oh, God. I feel like some of these choices are like the illusion of choice, but I don't really care too much because especially with the way this game like is i doesn't posture itself to be like oh your choices affect everything you know what i mean so i'm also glad that chapter is over my head hurts playing that chapter but let's get to that raid if you guys have somebody that you think should get raided i don't know <laughs> you can suggest i guess
all right y'all thank you for popping into stream today sorry if this this uh mic sounds like way different uh can't really do anything about that right now because i have not fixed the audio on this one so it's um it's certainly something but thank you for being here thank you for sticking with me through five and a half hours of ace attorney it uh it's a journey and i'm am going to play this next week i'm looking forward to playing ace attorney i'm most likely going to play it on thursday um though i might not play it the whole time and if i find myself not wanting to play it on thursday then i definitely am going to play it on saturday and i might i'm probably going to try and fit in a couple extra tuesday streams of ace attorney and if you see me streaming tuesday or thursday it's going to be 9 30 p.m est i stream pretty late and i do like to keep it like that on the weekdays but tonight i'm actually doing another stream of my valorant tournament we made the qualifiers and now tonight's the semifinals. so it has the potential to be like i'd say like a four hour stream even so i'm gonna be streaming valorant i'm gonna be playing with my girls they're great i love them so much they're amazing they're fantastic people um yeah i'm so glad to not have to deal with this this game anymore i love this game i adore this game i actually really like it so far i don't know what i was expecting but i guess it's not quite what i was expecting based on like what my friends have said and what others have said about the game i guess it's not entirely what i was expecting but follow if you like me playing ace attorney or if you i guess like fps and just for f just variety of content in general yeah also this week i am going to be um this week and next week and for the rest of december i'm going to be hosting some movie nights and in addition to those movie nights i'm also going to be doing charity streams in about two weeks i'm going to be doing um some charity streams i'm going to put out the info for that on monday tuesday around that time um because i just like i did it last year so i'm looking forward to doing charity again this year it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic i'm li really looking forward to it but while y'all are waiting on that these are the raid messages the first one is if you're subbed the second one is if you're not subbed um which one am i gonna copy i'm gonna copy oh god can i please okay there we go i'm gonna copy the non-subbed one let's see who am i gonna raid honestly i'm gonna read jasperine i i love jasperine man and she's doing charity is she doing yeah she's doing charity valo thing right now yeah i think she's doing a charity valo thing right now so i'm gonna read her yeah oh god i forgot how I don't know what happened to my web browser for Twitch, but it's like so broken. It's like literally so broken. Okay, I'm gonna start the raid on Jazz. Thank you guys for being here again. Your presence is always appreciated. I'm gonna get the raid started. Oh my gosh, my app is working now. Wow, the Twitch app is working. Who thought we'd be able to say that? I will see you guys tonight. And then I will be seeing you. I'll see you tonight and I'll see you um, Tuesday possibly. But Thursday and Friday.
i will talk to you guys then enjoy your weekend eat some food hang out with your friends chat it up and just overall enjoy the rest of your rest of your day i will see you later bye